the series 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days follows genuine couples before they apply for their K-1 visas, but some scenes appear more scripted than others. After 90 Day Fiancé became a successful reality show, TLC released over 16 spin-offs, including 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days. While the franchise claims the relationships are authentic, there have been rumors of scripted storylines and staged scenes. The genuine connection between some co-stars, like Alexei and Lauren Bravarnik, is evident. That's how they quickly became fan favorites. Although they've had a few tumultuous moments that led to childish bickering, the love they share is obvious and eventually became envious. Now the duo has their own spin-off and is welcoming their third child. Dot on the other hand, some relationships, like 90 Day Fiancé's Danielle and Muhammad Jbali, felt forced. The connection was lacking, and there appeared to be no spark between them. The lack of a kiss at their marriage ceremony was also a major warning sign. However, in Before the 90 Days, there were a handful of scenes that just didn't add up to the storyline, making fans theorize the show is more staged than TLC might lead viewers to believe. Ben Rathbun and Mahogany Roca. Buzz surrounded Ben Rathbun and Mahogany Roca when they joined the franchise for season 4. After refusing to video chat, only sending heavily filtered photos, and ghosting Ben when he arrived in Peru, the only plausible explanation seemed to be that Mahogany was a catfish. Eventually, she proved to be real, but she didn't look like her pictures. When her home resembled an Airden apartment and her true age was revealed, the storyline became even shadier. Viewers tracking 90 Day Fiancé's mahogany back to acting classes didn't help, and a rumor spread that she was actually a paid actress. Fans also theorized that perhaps Ben was approached by the production crew after they saw his modeling photos. Lana and David Murphy. Lana and David Murphy started out similarly to Ben and Mahogany. The two dated for seven years, but every time he traveled to Ukraine, he was stood up. David eventually hired an investigator, who tracked her down. The two went on a couple of awkward dates before he proposed. She, albeit uncomfortably, accepted an engagement ring and a new cell phone, but the dynamics of their relationship didn't change after he returned to America. Despite a new phone, Lana wouldn't text him back. The cringeworthy proposal and their relationship reeked of scripted storylines, which 90 Day Fiancé's Lana later confirmed on an Instagram Q&A. Caleb Greenwood and Alina Kizhebnikova. Caleb Greenwood and Alina Kizhebnikova had an interesting dynamic, but their ostensibly staged scenes made viewers cringe. Fans noticed their strangeness during a game of Never Have I Ever at Dinner. Her roommate, Elijah, and Caleb didn't get along and to make matters worse, Elijah walked into their room while they were intimate. Instead of leaving, he continued to watch, which led to some flirty comments toward Caleb during dinner. During the game Alina made a comment about never having had a threesome, which fans thought was a sly way of suggesting a threesome between them. Between the forced scenes and the constant shocking moments throughout Alina and Caleb's relationship, it appeared the entire relationship was staged. Dot in the end, tumultuous relationships and shocking moments make for great reality TV. However, sometimes, it can be over the top and make viewers question the validity of a couple's relationship. It doesn't make sense that Caleb, who strongly dislikes Elijah, would be comfortable with a joke about a threesome. 
neither does Mahogany's whole storyline, but fake storylines or scripted scenes appear to be an increasingly common issue with each new season of 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days, 